lovely birds and night owls. My name is Nox, aka Mako, and welcome back to RimWorld. So there were a few changes I want to make immediately, and one of those is I want to change the storyteller because Freebie is a little too forgiving, and I'm not okay with that. So we're gonna go to Cassie Classic, and I guess we're gonna change to Ruff just in case, because she... Like I said before, she's evil. <laughs> she is so evil and we're gonna die really quickly if we try to plant anything maybe higher than just that. So let's try that. Hopefully we'll get a raid pretty soon because you know, raids are pretty exciting for me. And I hope it's not by Orion Cor Corporation because we don't want to die anytime soon. Let's see, what's everybody doing? It looks like we're doing some cleaning up in here. Did we mind that? No, we did not actually have that mind. All right, and we, of course we have our vampire sleeping right now because well, that's just life. Oh, look at that. Speaking of a raid, a group of outlanders from non-partisan treaty of Noturnodalium have arrived. They are attacking immediately. Uh-oh. Watch out. They appear to be unusually clever with their tactics. So we have, of course, one person, as is usual. It looks like that person has a steel shiv. We have a few fighters. Ooh, what is this here? Hmm. We do have a few fighters, though. Chandler has a gun, Cook has a gun, Marco has a gun, and, well, Mosquito, who can barely do anything, has a recurve bow. I don't know why we got somebody who cannot dumb labor, but hey, on the bright side, Mosquito can do a lot of things. Also, we should probably get to growing. It's, uh, it's pretty early. It's spring right now, so maybe that's something that Mosquito can do. So, let's see. Where do we want to grow things? Because, honestly, I want to make sure we have enough room for, uh building as well if we need to build anything else out here let's see let's try to grow from here to here let's do some i don't know if we need that much do we really need that many berries probably not let's do a nice like 12 by 12 area for just berries then we're gonna go ahead and do a nice 12 by 12 area for maybe cotton since we could definitely use some of that so let's see this is going to be the berries this is going to be the cotton because cotton is going to be really nice for clothing and all other sorts of things and i do want to do maybe two more sections here if i think mosquito can grow a heel root so that would be nice and then this one over here is going to be for something else completely random so let's do some uh, heel root up in here and in this one i guess we can probably grow some smoke leaf hmm Ooh, we can grow agave Agave, really? We can grow a lot of things. Like, uh, I'm pretty sure there's a coffee plant, coffee tree here, right here, and that would be really nice for making coffee. Um, yeah, sure, let's do that instead of growing, uh, actually, you know, you know, let's do two more. We're gonna do. <laughs> I know, you're like, oh my god, the raid is happening right now. Why don't you go and fight the raid? Like, I know. I know. Let's do that in just a second. I want to get the growing started just in case. Alright, so up in here, we're gonna have the smoke leaf, and all the way up in here, I suppose we can have some beer, so let's go for some hops. I guess. Sure. Alright, so, uh, everybody get ready. I don't- where are they? Or where is he? He's a little bit far away, so I mean, you can go and do your own thing. Mosquito is idle, but will not be idle for a little while longer. There we go, David's coming. Maybe when he's around here, I will draft them. Alright, kids, let's get ready to rumble. Alright, one, two, three, and four. Everybody line up, and this kid has a shiv, so I mean- I'm pretty sure you guys can make quick work of this thing. I don't know which way he's going, so just place him in the middle there. Should do the trick for us. All right, there we go. Nice, nice. Go ahead and keep shooting. Uh-huh, good job, you guys. That, well, well, I didn't want you to kill him, but okay, that works. Let's see, was he even good? He's a sucker. <laughs> he would not social well, but he would do a lot of other things well. Oh, well, too bad, so sad. We, uh... Don't have that in our uh, arsenal now. He could have been a grower too, but hey, you know, that's fine. All right, so are we actually butchering people here? Because if so, yes, we are. Good. So we should have maybe some uh, some nice organs to sell, hopefully. I don't think that happens anytime soon, but, you know, cross my fingers just in case. And, well, Mosquito, you should maybe get to growing. There we go. You're harvesting stuff to clear out some room. Good. Always lovely to see, and we have plenty of food here, so we don't have to worry about that either. Oh, look at that! We actually got quite a few organs. Nice! So that should maybe help us get a little bit, uh, wealthy, although we do have some silver because, you know, they're vampires. They're, of course, gonna be rich coming from whatever world they came from, so that works for me. Alright, so, we have basically no work to do right now except to dig into here. So let's go ahead and section this off. Let's see, I want to go ahead and do something like that there. So we can maybe get to building around, I want to say here? Hmm. Yeah, yeah, let's do it here. I think that'll work. 
So let's just go all the way down through here just because. Now I've been considering how we're going to do the restrooms. I don't know if I want to, or bathroom, excuse me. I don't know if I want to do like simple housing and then make a, just a joint bathroom. I think that might be the best choice just because it seems weird to, you know, give everybody an individual bathroom, especially since uh, they're living kind of like in dorms and whatnot. So we're not going to do that. Let's go for like small houses here. So we're going to do a... a Jeez, what was the size that I liked here? I think it was a 12 by 10 that I liked. So I'm going to go for 12 by 10s for now. And if it works, it works. If not, well, we'll try again later. All right, so let's see. Another 10 here. And I only want like them. I only want these places in groups of threes. And then I want a hallway here. So we're going to go ahead and have a hallway here. And uh-oh. Hmm. Hmm. I don't think we're going to fit like three and three here. All right, so let's go ahead and change something up about this. What I want here, is that as long? <laughs> that is not that long. It's supposed to be a 12, right? All right, so let's go ahead and make like a hallway-ish area here. I believe it's going to be like that, right? Let's see how we can do this. So we need another t 10. Uh-oh. I apparently cannot count. But hey, we already knew that, didn't we? Let's see, is that a 10? That is a 10. All right, beautiful. So let's go for 10 over here, drop that down, and then 10 over here, and drop that down. So what do we have here? Let's see, we have one, two, three. So this room is going to be a... You know what? That's probably perfect for a restroom, maybe. And we can even make the side over here a bathroom, too. So sure, let's do that. And then over here, we're going to have a hallway. So something like that for the hallway there. I think that's one, two... <laughs> I can totally math, you guys. I know, I know. It's It's terrible. Alright, so something like that there for the hallway, and then this here might have to be the freezer because there's only really two, um, two openings, and honestly, we might have to make both of those with, uh, coolers or whatnot. We do have, though, the, uh, temperature, let's see, what's it called? It's a type of research here that allows us to, um, set a central air conditioning hub and whatnot, and it's gonna be pretty cool. I don't know where it is, but it's it exists, okay? Alright, so let's go ahead and get started with our mining. Now, I want them to maybe mine this out first so we can make our battery room, because that's gonna be pretty important. I figure that maybe having a battery room here and also calling it a hallway is going to help us so that we can actually power up this place, because, I mean, we could have it there, but it's gonna be driving a lot of, um wires all throughout the place and then once we're done with that we can maybe just uh, mine all of that and we'll get the rest of this sorted out so we can have our first room sometime soon all right so let's see any, does everybody have jobs basically that's what i want to know here and um i don't believe we've collected any coffee so unfortunately we are stuck with this right i don't see any coffee anywhere so yeah oh wait wait, wait. i take it back we have a few but it's apparently not enough hmm where did I grab those from? <laughs> Honestly, the thing, where is that tree? I don't know. Eee, a new level of vampirism. It looks like this heel root here is ready to be harvested. Some of this corn looks about ready to be harvested as well, so that's going to be cool. And there we have um, uh, a dead mega spider, which is just the way things are sometimes. Sorry, but you had to die. Alright, so it looks like our vampires are actually miners. I do want to... um. Let's see, where is it? I want to make sure that we are doing... Oh, that's a lot of work, isn't it? I guess as soon as we have room, a room here, we'll make it for the vampires. And what we're going to do is we're going to make sure that they have a work schedule that uh, fits with the time that they're supposed to be asleep. So they should go to sleep here, but they should wake up maybe a little bit earlier. Get right to work inside of there, and then that should be good. And vampire sunlight, yeah, I don't like that. So also another thing I want to do is I want to, let's see, restrict them. Ooh, cargo pods. Hey, we have meds. That works for me. Right, so uh, cargo pods, and that's, that's also really good, but restrictions. So, I want to restrict our vampires. It's this, uh, Callie, Yana, and Sarah, right? So I want to restrict them to area one, and area one is going to be, let's see, area one is going to be this whole thing here. Because they can definitely go in here. I mean, it's uh, it's basically hidden from the daylight, so they can just travel th uh, throughout this whole thing here. And I will have to expand it later on, but I also don't want it to go too, too far out. So area one is going to be this space here. Mm -hmm. And let's see, this space right through here, all the way up through to right here. Now, when there is a raid, I'm going to have to tack on an extra area. But for now, this should be all that they visit. You know what? We can go a little bit further, actually. We can go a little bit further without having to be afraid of them not dying, because we do have this here. So let's go and expand this out to right up in here. 
And that should be more than enough space for them. And we could do this as well, sure. Let's just because I, I might have to expand down here at some point. So let's just do that up just like that. And that should be gravy. All right. So that's basically all the areas for the uh, vampires. That's where they can go. And if they go any further, they might just uh, get set on fire and die, which is not going to be good for us. It looks like Mosquito has been doing a pretty good job of growing things. So I'm happy that we actually got Mosquito, despite the fact that Mosquito's original colony or uh, their faction got angry with us. But hey, you know, you can't always win everything. What kind of tree is this? A persimmon tree. Not not growing. Out of season. Oh. Okay, well that's interesting. Let's see if we have an oak tree there. Does this grow anything? What is this? Crab apple, not growing out of season. Oh, maybe it has to be fall for that to grow. Hmm. If that's the case, oh well. <laughs> we can wait a little bit, can't we? Alright, so how many of these guys we have? We have 500. And do we have a we don't have a stone cutting table, huh? That was uh, short-sighted of me. Let me go ahead and make one here. Um, oh, geez. <laughs> yeah, let's just do it right up in here. That should help out a little bit. They can sit right there and do their work, and I'm pretty sure that should be fine. Oh, no. What's going on here? <gasps> no. I forgot. Oh, well, you know, that gives us uh, plenty of opportunity to actually go and do some hunting, because, well, <laughs> if anything else rots, then, yeah, we're going to have to do some hunting for sure, for sure. 50 berries might not be enough for meals, so I definitely want to go and harvest some of these guys here. And also, let's harvest some healer, even though we have meds now, but still. Let's do that up. And is that cotton? Oh, I will take that for sure. Hello, Mr. Tortoise or Mrs. Tortoise. I don't know what you are. All right, so we have this guy now. And what we want to do... Ugh, I keep clicking on the wall lights. All right, so what I want to do is I want to go ahead and make granite blocks do until we have exactly 500. Because I think 500 is probably a good number for that since that's going to be our main building block. I also want to have marble just in case. We'll probably build like furniture out of that just because I like the way it looks. And we're going to try to have exactly 250 of those. So that gives more people some jobs. And that's always, you know, what I like. And hopefully people get to hauling some things. I don't really see anywhere where we can tell them to be like, you know, haul this right now. Ooh, hello, steel. <laughs> Tattered apparel on mosquito. Mosquito, what is it you're wearing here? Um, oh, <laughs> yeah, you know, that's not really ideal. I uh, feel bad for you that you're wearing disgusting shirts, but we don't exactly have much clothing, now, do we? We had to take that off of the dead corpse. Well, whatever, wear it for now, and we'll find something else for you later. All right, so there, oh my gosh, I can't believe it. There, look at all that seal. We are going to be super, uh-oh. Yeah, that sucks. <laughs> that sucks so badly. That's going to suck out our power hard. This is why I like caves, though. The, the caves are generally cooler than anything else, so that would help out a lot. So let's go ahead and get started on making this here. So we're going to go ahead and uh, maybe not do that one just yet because we might lock ourselves in. Let's go and do something like this. This is going to be that part. Oh, what? Excuse me? Is that water? That looks... Okay, that's water. I thought that was just part of the tile. So this room is going to have to stay open for a little while. That's uh, totally fine with me. We could just do a door there and uh, deal with that later on. We can also just drop batteries in there and hopefully that won't bother too many people. But heat wave, right. So this is fine in there. This is going to get insanely hot. And so what we want to do is we want to just go ahead and drop one of these guys... Honestly, somewhere in here, I don't know if one's going to be enough, but I sincerely hope it is because we cannot afford to uh, keep doing things like this. We don't have enough power right now. I guess we can build another one of these guys right up in here, and maybe that will help a little bit. But do we have enough components is a thing. Ten components. Hmm. Well, we might just have to deal with it, you guys. We might just have to deal with it. All right, there we go. Let's go ahead and drop the temperature there. Maybe not that much, though, because, uh, well, we might have to, actually. 78, 76, 74, 72. Okay, it's looking okay. Ooh. It's looking okay for now. Let's go ahead and break that apart. And maybe in the daytime it's going to get bad. But for now, this might be a little bit too cold, actually. <laughs> now that I'm looking at it, it's like a 64, 65. Yeah, it's dropping. Okay, let's go ahead and bump this up to like a 70. That should be fine then. And hopefully it'll stay that way through the day. If not, then we have to change it. And as for this room, we can just go ahead and keep this open just so that the uh, coolness can actually get through this whole place here. Can somebody open this? Anybody going through here? There we go. All right. So uh, Sting is 70. That's actually good to see. And our sleepy, sleepy people are actually still asleep, so that's unfortunate because I would like for them to wake. Whoa! You are hardcore. Oh, wow. I ate the whole rat, too. That's hardcore for sure. 
That's metal. <laughs> All right, so um, we need to. Uh oh, oh, that's fine. Oh wait, mosquitoes assigned to construction. Mosquito, what? what kind of skill do you have here? Well, what are you? Do you like construction? You're not even that great, and you don't even like it. So you're probably like, please, I don't want to do this right now. Like, no, I'm sorry, buddy, but you have to. Someone has to at least. So uh, it's gonna be you. All right, so let's go ahead and move these guys out of the way here, and we need to research pretty early on, if we have it, the, uh, what's it called? I can't remember what it's called. Oh my gosh. Cook fail. You know what? Everybody's gonna fail here for a while, but it's just the way it is. So, um, powered showers, multi-analyzer, moisture pump. There we go. So I want them to focus on this right now. Just ignore everything else that I marked before, because we kind of need to get rid of that pretty soon. Sooner than later, at least. All right. So, uh, there's a lot of failure in terms of building, but that's okay. That's why we have a job to actually make brand new granite blocks. So hopefully somebody's going to be on that. Um, Chandler, what are you up to right now? You are hauling some things and oh my gosh, all the construction failures, but hey, that's expected. And look at that. One more is actually charging these up. So I like that. I like that a lot. Is this one actually outputting as much power as the rest of them? It seems like it might not is it? It is. Okay, never mind. I was like, maybe it's covered by something there. It looks like it is, though, honestly. So let's uh, go ahead and remove the roof area there just in case that's happening. And yeah, that was actually happening. All right. Well, my bad. And uh, let's see. They're actually doing a pretty good job in joint construction project. That's pretty cool. Let's go ahead and drop that up in there so that can be part of the room here. And of course, we want to close this up as well. So there we go. Everybody go and do some uh, building, please. And thank you, because that's going to help out a lot. Ugh, I can't believe it. There's water there. Of all the things, there's freaking water. Hmm. Well, I mean, whatever. All right, so let's go ahead and go to orders and remove these plans because now we can see that there is a room taking shape here, right? So we know exactly what is happening. And I guess here as well because we already know what's happening. So uh, I want to wait until I actually finish this up before we start mining out this part here. Because well, I want to make sure that everything stays okay. So let's see. They did the construction there. Good. Let's do the construction there. And we should be able to do the last two in... Oh. Thanks, you guys. Thanks a lot for piecing out to go build. Seriously. You couldn't be patient? You could not be patient. Just finish your current job. Oh, vampires, you guys. I swear. <laughs> they're, uh... They're special. They're definitely special. Yeah, go finish that. Good. All right, so now we can actually go ahead and start mining out this room, which means we'll have a first bedroom for the vampire, so that that way, that way excuse me, they can work from here. They uh, continue mining, and then once they're done, they just go right back to sleep there instead of having to run all the way across the yard to get over here, because that is just not okay. All right, so uh, let's see. Is Bunny Rabbit trying to eat her stuff? What, what is this? Anyway, what's... Ooh, there's Zench. Uh-oh. So Mosquito is a little bit of a, has gone histrionic right now and is uh, trying to get attention, which is not good because that means disturbing a lot of people. Ugh, Mosquito. I'm sorry, we'll get you your own bedroom pretty soon, I swear. It's going to happen. Uh-oh, <laughs> bothering Chandler. Please leave Chandler alone, thanks. Uh, and is anybody going to harvest this stuff? Because that would be pretty cool to have some Zen cherries for our foods. Although eating cherries with meat seems a little bit weird, but maybe people do do that. So hey, you know... I mean, eating strawberries with meat is also a little bit weird. <laughs> Let's be honest here. All right, so Cook is doing a pretty good job there of doing some buildering. That's good. And the heat wave is over, thank goodness. So pretty sure we don't need this, but I'm going to keep it just in case. I mean, summer is about to come in here, and it's going to wreck us. So, hey, you never know. You never know, you guys. All right, so Cook, good job, buddy. Marco is actually doing the planting while Mosquito is all broken and whatnot. And Chandler, what are you up to? He's cleaning. Oh, you know what? A clean base is always a good thing, you guys. So I'm not going to complain about that at all. You're going to haul some more stuff to the stockpile? Yeah, he's actually being a good boy and cleaning and hauling. That is exactly what I want to see. But I would also like to see, you know, people harvesting these things. Mosquito, if you will, please. Uh, you can't win them all. Whoa. Mosquito and Sarah. So Mosquito's in love with a vampire. And immediately, immediately... We're like, you know, let's just get married. You know, we're lovers now. Let's get married. Like, okay, well, that's <laughs> an interesting proposition there. I uh, I have no words, basically. So, uh, you know what? They can do whatever they want. I do, however, want to bring this over. 
to it expires in 13 days but i want to bring this over here just because it's super dark here and i would like to have some kind of light wandering caravan spotted your colonists have spotted a wandering alpaca in the distance the alpaca must be a separated pack animal or another faction's trading caravan as it seems to be carrying containers that look like they could be filled with potentially valuable items more alpacas may be following close behind Ooh, either tame or kill it to capture its potentially valuable inventory oh my gosh it's not one it's a few so silver pemmican oh hello <laughs> Um, hmm. Well, we can kill them, but do I want to kill them? Yeah, you know what? Let's, let's kill them. Let's kill them and grab everything that they have because uh, that would be... Oh, gosh. They're all humping. Well, you know, it happens. It happens when there are animals in the wild. So, uh, Marco, are you a hunter? You are a hunter. Perfect. I would tame them, but I really don't want any animals right now. We are at the point where we can barely feed our uh, vampires, and their vampires are about to, like, probably eat people soon. So, uh, yeah. Oh, Marco, What? It's joy time. Of course. And there we go. Mosquito unbroke. Wait. Mosquito was broken when Mosquito decided to enter a relationship and also accept and also, you know, proposed. This is not going to end well. This is going to end with Mosquito either cheating or Sarah cheating. Oh my gosh, you guys. The story is only just getting started. So this is going to be interesting. Anyway, are our vampires hunters? Because if that's the case, then I might just mark this area to be a uh, hunt area. It looks like it is, but 3 a.m. Yeah, it's not looking like a good time to let them out. So they can go ahead and do their own thing. The alpacas, hopefully we'll get them soon. I believe we have Mosquito as a hunter as well. Let's see, Chandler, Cook, Marco. Oh, they're all hunters. All right, we have a caravan. Welcome, friends. You uh, will hang around the colony for a few days. Awesome. Oh my gosh. Was that just somebody racing through here or was that one of ours? Hi, Val. What's going on? Okay, you're part. You're a guest, not part of a trading caravan. Good to see, cause I uh, don't have any rooms for you. Sorry. All right, so let's see. Who is our best talker? That would be Callie. Callie, however, should be inside. Yeah, that's not gonna happen. So uh, maybe Chandler next. Yeah, it's gonna have to be Chandler, cause I don't think these guys are gonna go in the safe space. Or they are. All right, Callie, wake up and go ahead and trade with this person here. Thank you. Well, so we can sell them the human meat, thank goodness. I am not using that, like, ever. Unless, again, we have a uh, cannibal. So they have cat meat. That seems a little bit uh, crude, but sure. We can uh, leave them to it. Alpaca hide. Let's see. Do we have any human leather that I would like to sell? Yes, we do. Perfect. Pile of sand. Now, I'm not sure what that's for, so I'm going to keep it. But why would uh, What's-His-Face take this off? Why would a Mosquito take that off? That seems a little bizarre, but sure. Orion Core Defense Shield. Ooh. That's actually affordable, surprisingly. At least because we have a lot of money. <laughs> uh, yeah, I think we're going to skip, though. That's that's fine with me. All right, friends, go and hunt. Thank you. There we go. They're all actually going to go and hunt. And uh, where's Mosquito? Mosquito's also going to hunt. Perfect. So we can actually grab all the stuff because that's basically, well, how we're going to make some money here. And is, is all this going to fall over once the, uh, the alpacas are... Oh, jeez. <laughs> nope, you guys aren't running. You guys are attacking. Mosquito, run. There we go. Oh, nice. So, yeah, we did get the stuff. All right, Mosquito, go ahead and attack. You guys can uh, go and do your own thing, too. So, uh, yeah, we do get the silver and the pemmican from that. And that's really cool. Awesome. There we go. Killed another one. So, we're just going to have to haul all of this stuff away. But, hey, you know what? That's fine with me. <laughs> Free stuff. I'm never going to complain about that. And let's see. Where's the rest of the free stuff? I'm going to have to... Hmm. Did some of them run away? I could have sworn there were more than just that. Maybe I was seeing things. I don't know. Whatever. Whatever. So let's unforbid all that stuff because now we have some plasteel and some gold. You don't say... Ooh, look at that. We killed another one. All right. Unforbid all that stuff too. And Mosquito, you know what? You give it a try. It's fine. You know, you can't win them all. All right, so how are you looking over here? <laughs> are you... Okay, good. You're uh, gonna die soon. You only have some silver and some pemmican, so I'm not too bothered by that. Hopefully we get this stuff hauled, though, because that would be cool. Cook, are you hunting this one? You are. Good boy, Cook. Good boy. All right, so there we go. We have a bunch of stuff now, which is nice. Marco's gonna go and haul some of that. Oh, no. Butcher the alpacas. I mean, butcher, excuse me. I mean, that's totally fine because, well, we're gonna need meat at some point. So why not, right? Why not? Alright, so back to this job over here since we're finally going to get a room and it looks like they're doing a pretty good job with the mining. This provides some light, but not that much. Hmm. Part of me actually wants to reroute these to over here so we can throw some lights down. So let's see about... Hmm. 
I'm gonna have to do it like on the outs. Ooh, I'm gonna move them later on because I do not want these to be outside. But they're gonna have to be for now, just because. So let's go ahead and do them like that, like that, like that, and then bring it in just like this. All right, so that should help us with some power situations here. We're going to, of course, need to add our lights. So let's see, we have our wall lights right up in here. All right, so I, I love these lights. I don't know why, they just seem perfect. So I want them maybe outside of each door. I think I'm gonna have a door maybe right there. Hmm. That, that, is this supposed to be where the door is? Let's see. One, two, yeah, that's supposed to be where the door is. This is where that light's gonna go. All right, so let's just uh, get rid of that and get rid of the light too, because I don't want the light there either. All right, so doors, 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 doors. I want a door right up in here and a door right up in here. Thank you. And then we have, um, wait, a door's right up in, oh, jeez. Right up in here. There we go. No, I got it. I'm just like, how did I make this before? Yeah, just like that. All right, so that should hopefully work out well for us. I want them building that stuff as soon as possible. That way we can even use this, you know, even when it's not fully mined out. But hey, it'll still work. At least I hope so. All right, so we probably need an extension of our power somewhere down here. So let's go ahead and do that. Of course, we can't do it over the water. So I'm going to go ahead and just cancel this here. Cancel that there. And make sure that I do it over instead because uh, <laughs> that part sucks. All right, so let's see. We can just go ahead and do something like that. That's a waste of steel. But hey, we have a lot of steel right up in here. So I am not that concerned about that. All right, so let's see. We're doing some cleaning up in here. We have enough meals for our human friends or our human... Uh, Slaves, I guess you could say, and we have plenty of blood packs still for our vampires, which is good because that means we don't have to go ahead and suck necks, basically, which sounds weird, but it is what it is. Let's see, you probably want to sleep with Sarah? Yeah. Mm. You also have been, you were hitting on everybody when you were broken, weren't you? Look at that. That's ridiculous. All right, so you're uh, unhappy that you've been in an ugly environment. That sucks for you, but hey, that's just the way things are sometimes in life. Just deal with it. And let's see, do we want these things hollow away? I guess we can have these hollow away. Sure. And I don't know if I want to buff the floor. I feel like at some point we're going to hit marble flooring just because, as you can see here, there's going to be marble in here somewhere. And I'm not going to be happy about that because it's going to look super weird. Are they going through here? Interesting pathing, you guys. Interesting, interesting pathing. All right, well, now it's just a matter of continuing with our whole building thing. Look at that, we have lights, you guys. Yeah, all right, so let's go ahead and reinstall this back over here so these folks can have lights or, I guess, more light in there, and that should be fine for them. And I think we're good for now. We just have to continue doing our mining operation, growing some more coffee trees, apparently, because we're growing a million of them. And everything looks like it's going to be hunky-dory. Uh, if, you know, people say hunky-dory anymore, I don't know. Again, I'm old. Well, it looks like a group of tribes people from the Federation of Curbrillier... Curbrillier? <laughs> ...have arrived nearby. They will be for a while, and then attack. So let's see, how many people are we... Ho, ho, ho! That's not good because our vampires are asleep and they cannot go outside. Despite the fact that it's raining and it's dark, they still cannot go outside. So we have one with a short bow, steel club over here, a short bow, three short bows, and a steel equa. Okay, so we have to be careful for the equa for sure, for sure. Uh, you're not really that great with it, but still, it's uh, it's gonna hurt. It's gonna hurt for sure. And let's see, is anybody really like a sharpshooter right now? Oh gosh, you are. Hmm. You're gonna suck and you're probably gonna hurt us too. So you've got to be very careful. They are going to uh, just hang out here for a little while. We might be, yeah, we might be like coming over here to grab some stuff. So we have got to be very careful because we do still have all of this stuff all the way over here. Hurry up, Chandler, because I don't want you getting caught in any kind of crossfire between uh, these guys and our fighters over here. I mean, I guess Chandler's gonna have to be a fighter whenever they do attack because, uh oh, Chandler, what's going on with you, buddy? Something's not feeling too good right here. Totally joy deprived. Oh boy. So you need some uh, fun times. Let's go ahead and let's see. Give you some more joy time. What time is it right now? It is 11 in the morning. So I guess we can go ahead and drop you some more joy time for now. And then you'll do anything else. So let's see. Chandler, go ahead and relax. Yeah. Good boy. I know you've been running a long, long way to get stuff. And I appreciate that. But just chill for a little bit because you're going to have to do some fighting in a second. So, you know... It's going to be a pretty difficult time. So let's see. Well, okay, everybody's ready. Everybody, or at least everybody should be ready. And it's basically like 1 p.m. So uh, sending the vampires out will be a death situation here. 
I think I want, let's see, who's our long range shooter? Cook, Cook, go over here. I think you should be able to do the shooting thing from there. And they're going through here. Uh, what are they doing? Hmm, interesting. All right, so let's see, Marco over here, Mosquito over here, just like that there. Mosquito, what's your range? Not that great, but I think it's just the same as these guys, so I mean, it should be fine. Cook, hurry up and get in position, because you're the one who's gonna be uh, protecting these guys, basically. I don't know if you can see purple, Cook. Can you, um, you know what, maybe you go over here instead. That should help out a little bit, because now you're gonna be able to, oh, purple's still not in range. All right, there we go, purple is in range. Attack purple. It might be a little far. Alright, attack Pheasant instead then. And is anybody else coming over here? Okay, that guy is. Purple has that, so I think Mosquito's gonna have to go out in front, because uh, Mosquito can... <laughs> Honestly, Mosquito can die. I don't care about Mosquito that much. There we go. Good job. Alright, so Mosquito, or Chandler, I guess, uh, go behind this tree. Mosquito, go behind that tree over here. Mm -hmm. Good. Ouch, Chandler. Oh, you took a shot. You took a shot to the torso right in your lung. That part sucks. All right, so we have got to focus on this guy here. I know we were focusing on Pheasant, but focus on this guy because this guy is going to hurt us pretty badly, and that's not going to be okay. All right, focus there. Mosquito might be in the way, actually, of this guy, so let's move back, of Chandler. All right, there we go. So, oh, Chandler, Pheasant is shooting you. All right, let's uh, hope that this... Oh, headshot, nice. All right, anybody else? Anybody else going to shoot the school? Okay, good. Whew, Mosquito's taking a lot of hits, but honestly, I, uh, I don't care too much about Mosquito. Mosquito was our last, uh, I want to call it Hyrie almost, but he was the low. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. All right, so we are in a little bit of trouble over here. Camino is actually coming towards us, so we're going to go ahead and run. Because uh, that's not fine. That is not okay. Mosquito, you are now in the way of this guy, so I want you to move a little bit. It looks like, uh, oh, almost hit you. If it's time to steal, they can and leave. What are they stealing? Oh, are they stealing yourself? This all the way away. <gasps> no. All right, everybody, get get together, get together right over here, and make sure that you shoot them dead. Otherwise, uh, well, things are not going to be good. They're going to steal. Let's see. What are they going to take? Our si oh my gosh, you're stealing. Oh, seven hundred forty-nine. You know what? That's not a big loss. And Marco did just get hit. All right, just kill this guy. Come on. Mm-hmm. Cook, I want you to focus on this guy first. How much does this guy have? 674. Yeah, I'm not too bummed up about that. This guy is just still attacking us. Like, screw you. All right, good. They're fleeing. Pheasant, I swear I'm going to attack you in a second. I will hit you in just one second for attacking us. All right, good. Yeah, everybody except for, let's see, Chandler, I want you to move down. I want you to move down here. And Marco, move down here as well. And Mosquito, for sure, move down here. All right, so let's go ahead and try to grab these guys. I know Cook can still attack him. Potentially. Not anymore. All right, move over here. Channeling, are you moving? Moving. Uh huh. There we go. And our vampires, can our vampires wake up soon? Not yet. Oh boy. All right, so we're going to have to let Pheasant go, even though Pheasant was the one who caused a lot of uh, troubles here. Yeah. Pretty good shooting skill on you, so I mean, I don't know what I expected. All right, so we got some. Uh, oh, Nigori. That's going to be nice. And they dropped our, our money, basically. Uh, and get away with it. All right, so purple, let's see. You are a rock hound, which means you are pretty good at mining and crafting. That seems pretty cool. But you're also lazy, so maybe instead of giving you away, I can grab you. So what room do we have that's actually available for prisoners? Maybe, I guess we could probably just shove you in here, honestly. Let's go for a nice little sleeping spot in here and make that for prisoners only. Yeah, it's actually ready. All right, so uh, let's see. Ugh. They're all hurt. How badly are you hurt? That's not that bad. That's also not that bad. That one might cause some problems, and this one, that's also might cause some problems. So let's see. Cook, go ahead and capture. Who's our doctor here? Chandler Marco. Actually, Marco, you capture. And everybody else go rest or do your own thing or whatever you want to do. Uh, we'll have a doctor with you shortly. Let's see. So it's going to be Chandler and Marco. So Marco's just going to hopefully take care of the prisoner. Tiny to purple. Okay. Yeah, good. And let's see, Chandler, you have got to take care of other people. I know you're sick right now, but please tend to cook. Are you going to wake up? There we go. Good boy. And then after you're done, just tend to Mosquito. And I... Is one of the vampires? Yeah, Yana is also a doctor, so I mean, we could have had her do that, but hey, whatever. All right, Chandler, continue taking care of people, and that should be fine. Marco, I really hope you do a good job here because, let's see, can we get you? Oh, we can't get you, but one of these people has uh, inspired recruitment. So hopefully whoever that is will actually try to recruit this person because I can't remember who. Let's see. Uh, is it Yana? No. Does it, it should say who has inspired recruitment, right? 
right here. Sarah, Sarah, can you, uh, let's see, talk to, prioritize talking. No. Feed on sip, embrace, give Vitae strip. Uh, Sarah, are you not... You are a warden, but for some reason it's not letting us do this. Interesting. Sarah, can you now talk? Let's see. No, you know, that's still not happening. Hmm. Well, as soon as we see somebody talking here, we can just pause the game and be like, Hey, Sarah, you go do that instead, right? Oh, let's see. Prioritize feet. What's Callie doing? Attention recruit. Oh, what? What? Hold on. No, 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 no. Feed. Where is it? Why can Sarah not do this? Sarah, Sarah, Sarah. Let's see. Warden. You have a six, but still. Negotiate. It's on. What is going on? Okay, Callie, no. Bad. Let's let that happen. And Sarah, let's see if you'll actually do it. Attend your crew. There we go. All right, so that should work for us. Callie, go and do something else. Good. And Sarah, please let purple join us, because purple is my favorite color, so you know I would love that. Thank you. And there we go. Welcome aboard, Purple. You are no longer a prisoner of our colony. Let's go ahead and deconstruct that. And we will need another sleeping spot, though, on the floor here. So uh, let's go ahead and do that. All right. So new recruit. We now have a Purple in here. So let's go ahead. I know we could I know we could have released Purple, but I am not concerned with that at all. All right. So let's go ahead and do a better rest at one than that at one. I guess you could do rearming. Let's not have you do jobs that you do not like because I hate that. Even though I know I gave a lot of jobs that Mosquito doesn't like to Mosquito. But Mosquito honestly sucks at everything. So, eh. All right. First things first. Uh, let's do these things here, I guess. And then you'll do that. And this is going to come last here. You are pretty... Pretty good at making clothing, though. So I think I want to change these orders up a little bit. Let's go for five here. And I'll do this one at a three. These are going to be four here. And this, I guess I could do that at four as well. Plant cutting, pretty important. So I'm going to leave it as is, all of that. And you're going to just focus on making clothing first and then hauling and cleaning. Sure. I like it. And you can also do some butchering. You know what? That's going to help us out overall. Let's also put you on brewing just in case we have anything to brew. All right, so it looks like Purple already has a lot of jobs, so that works for me. And let's make sure that you have the same schedule as almost everybody else. And I think Chandler should probably go ahead and change his schedule up. There we go. All right, so it looks like we're growing a lot of things. For some reason, we are we have not yet planted any smoke leaf. I take it back. We have planted one. All right, well, whatever. I mean, look at this. This room is almost done, so I'm not going to complain too much about smoke leaf not being grown. And, uh, well, we have our first bedroom, friends, so that means we are going to be able to use this for a nice, comfy bed soon. So let's see. Do we have... We don't have marble. Who's making the, uh, the marble blocks here? Nobody. Absolutely nobody's working on stone cutting. All right, so instead of this let's see no not you not you we should probably have purple do it just because let's change this to threes here and then these are gonna be oh, what could happen after the stone cutting yeah sure i'm okay with that all right so uh purple drinking beer beating out fire all right whatever everybody has to beat out the fire basically because we don't want that spreading here that's gonna be pretty catastrophic so yeah we uh need some marble before we are actually able to make any beds apparently because uh uh oh, ignorant people. Basically very ignorant. I can, however, have these reinstalled over there, but it is daytime, so it's time for the vampires to sleep. I will, however, do that at nighttime. That way the vampires can get a nice uh, day of rest, and then later on we'll have to focus on doing that. I do want, however, want this hauled, and why does it sound like there's still fire outside? I'm hearing things. I am absolutely hearing things. All right, so we were able to hunt down those alpaca. Actually, had pretty good stuff, and we, even though you know we've left it outside, that's still fine. You know, we'll get it at some point, right, Chandler? Yeah, that's right. Even though he is pretty stressed out, he'll be able to calm down pretty soon as soon as he uh, stops going over there to grab grab the stuff. But hey, it's stuff that we've earned, so we deserve to have it. And what is what is going on with this guy right here? Meeting with raccoon. Lovely. That's the last thing I want to see. All right, so we got a growing operation set. We have rooms going, and it seems like things are going pretty okay for the colony. We were able to survive a raid and got a new person. Hopefully, we'll be able to expand our colony a little bit more in the next episode, because that is it for this episode of RimWorld. If you enjoyed, hit that like button to show your support, and do subscribe if you already haven't. But as always, thank you so much for watching, and have an awesome night.